So proof of theorem 12. So I have highlighted the line L, which is also called DE in yellow, AB in pink, AC in blue, and the line BC that's parallel to DE in green. So it's really helpful to colour code things when you're trying to talk about proofs. So remember, we're trying to prove that AE to EC is equal to M to N. So let's start with our construction. So we want to mark some points on our diagram. So we're going to let A equal to D0. So, so this point A at the top of our triangle, remember a triangle is A, B, C. This point A is going to be also called D0. Then we're going to have D1, D2, D3, D4, D5, and so on. The point D, belonging to the parallel line DE, is now called DM. And the point B, at the end of the triangle, is now called the point DM plus N. So it's very important to note that we have equal distance between each of these new points. So we've marked the points D0 is equal to A, D1, D2, and so on, down as far as DM minus 1, DM is equal to D, DM plus 1, and so on, down as far as DM plus N minus 1, and ending with DM plus N, which we're calling B. And it's very important to note again that they are equally spaced along AB. So i.e. the segments D0, D1, D1, D2, Dm plus N minus 1, Dm plus N, they all have equal length. Next we're going to draw the lines D1, E1, D2, E2, and so on, parallel to BC, with E1, E2, etc. on AC. So we're going to draw some parallel lines, so from D1 across to E1. So remember the lines have to be parallel to this line, DE, and parallel to this line, BC, or DM plus N, C. So D1 goes to E1, D2 goes to E2, D3 goes to E3, D4 goes to E4, and so on. Then D is now DM, goes to E, which is now EM, and B, DM plus N, goes to C, which is now EM plus N. So we drew the lines D1, E1, D2, E2, and so on, parallel to BC, with E1, E2, and so on, on AC. Okay, so that's the construction. Now this is the proof. The line segments AE1, so AE1, so AE1, so this line segment here, E1, E2, so E1, E2, E1, E2, E2, E3, and so on down as far as E, M plus N minus 1, C. So each of these line segments, they have the same length, they're the same distance apart. So EM is equal to E. So the point E here is also called EM. So EM, which is equal to E, is the point where DE cuts AC. So this is the point where DE cuts AC. Hence, E, point E, divides AC, AC, in the ratio m to n. 
So here's m, this distance is m, this distance is n, so AC is therefore cut in the same ratio. And that is because each of the line segments, AE1, E1, E2, E2, E3, and so on, have the same length. The converse, or the opposite of this theorem, is also true. So theorem 12, the converse, let the triangle ABC be a triangle. So A, B, C. If a line L cuts AB and AC in the same ratio, M to N, then L must be parallel to BC. So this line DE, which we could also call L, must be parallel to BC if it cuts AB and AC in the same ratio. From theorem 12, we can deduce many other equal ratios for a triangle and a line drawn parallel to its base. For example, AD divided by AB, so AD divided by AB is equal to AE divided by AC, so AE divided by AC. So basically, the top length divided by the overall length is equal to the top length divided by the overall length. Or BD divided by AB, so BD divided by AB is equal to CE divided by AC, is equal to CE divided by AC. So basically, the bottom length divided by the overall length is equal to the bottom length divided by the overall length. Indeed, any ratio for one side will be equal to the corresponding ratio for the other side. We know that two triangles are similar if all three angles are equal. Another set of conditions that allows us to say the two triangles are similar are given below. If two triangles ABC, ABC, and A dash B dash C dash, a dash B dash C dash have angle A equal to angle A dash, so angle day A equal to angle A dash, and the length A dash B dash, A dash B dash divided by AB, AB is equal to A dash C dash divided by AC then they are similar. So here we have side included angle side, side included angle side.